Hey everyone, this is Tracy with Color Me This. Welcome to episode 286. This is the weekly color. We're going to talk about all of my coloring world from the last week. We will go over the whips. We will look at completed projects, including the daily color projects. Talk about what's happening next week, and then we'll finish off with some channel stats. So first for the whips. It is the changing of a month. We are now in November. I had five, I believe, five pumpkins that I colored a bunch of pumpkins and knew I probably would not finish all of them. I finished two. So I have three whips. Uh, what I've done with them is prepare them to get put away and I will work on them next year. So this is Color 180. I have my colors logged, as well as the paper that it is printed on, as well as what the pencils are. And I will continue this next year, so I will put this away. I did not complete this RJ Hampson. This was printed from Mountain King. I have logged. These are the Black Widow pencils. Those are the colors that I used to do the pumpkins. I did finish a version of this, so I actually finished three pumpkin pages. Uh, I just got uh, so involved on my copy paper version because the Erogitans did such a fantastic job that I finished it. So this original will go in the whip for next year. And I only used two colors for, and this is on the summer, summer hill, spring hill, spring hill paper. So that will get put away. My storage for whips has changed. I used to keep whips in these sleeves in a binder. I have since converted my binder to be full on swatches. So I took, instead I have some file folders. I have two different themes. Well, three. I have all the four seasons, so these will go in the fall season folder. I have a couple of categories, animals, people, flowers, buildings, and I should have nature. That probably would be more applicable, but I also have grayscale because I've been playing a little bit. In fact, that's what's sitting right here. Uh, let's see how reflective that is with the ring. Yeah, it's kind of reflective with the ring. That's the one bad thing about having a ring light. So these three pumpkins are going to get put in the fall folder. I will do that right now because it's right below my feet. The, this whip will stay out. I will finish this dragon. This whip is staying out. It is finished and it is uh, going in my folder. I have a uh, artisan market to do next week. So I will have all of my cards I've made, all of my jewelry that I've made that I just received here in the pod and have been cleaning up. And then I will have a little table for the coloring group where I will be recruiting more colorists that I can help get addicted to coloring like I am. So I also have all of my little sample sheets, uh, all of my variations of the word fall. I will keep them all. I always keep them all. And then here is the other copy of the unfinished so I will have that to be able to play with next year. And then the completed one is hanging on the wall. And I am bringing that with me also next week with this fall. I will bring the dragon as well for updated coloring samples for people to see. So those are the whips. I don't have anything else. My bridle is not, hasn't, I haven't touched it. In fact, I have to figure out where I've hidden it. I probably have it down here in the file um, holder. If you don't, if you're not to the point of needing an entire file holder, keeping them in a file folder in a cabinet or putting them in a three ring binder in the sleeves, uh, those are both really good ways to save your whips. I personally don't stress the whips. I want to do them because I want to do them. So I have lots of different uh, images that I am coloring that I will lose steam. Uh, I'll just run out of time, whatever like the pumpkins, I knew I had more for me to do than I could probably do in the month. It was a very busy month, but I would rather have more to do than too little. So moving on to the daily color. Uh, I am now up to three books that I color in. 
for the daily color. And the first book we're going to bring out is Small Victories. It is what started it all. And I thoroughly enjoy coloring in it. I have uh, not finished anything this week. We didn't even touch this for the first time since I started coloring on video almost daily. In the At the end of March, I have always colored in this book. Fairly recently, I introduced Romantic Country as my first full-size coloring book ever colored in. Small Victories being the very first coloring book. And then now with Magical Worlds having arrived on my doorstep as my very first pre-ordered, waited for many months to get it coloring book, I could not not use it. So we're up to three. However, last week I did not color anything. You will see that the last thing I did color was the bottle. And if we flip the page, we will talk about what's coming next week in a minute. But I just want to state that I have confirmed I have 30 pages left in this book. It is a 82-page coloring book. And I am including all of the these little odds and ends. Like this page I consider colored. This page has some tests but is not considered colored because that little image is not colored yet. And I did not count this page. So, small victories we will get to next week. Romantic Country. I was able to get to work on this because you guys helped me with my addiction to magical worlds. I thought rather than me make a decision, I was ready to have you guys decide. I love having you guys interact with me and this is just one way to do so. So I put out a poll and you guys all voted, although as of like today, that poll has magical worlds tied with Romantic Country. And so Magical Worlds is now tied with it, but the camping page I did get started on. That was yesterday's video, and we'll take a quick peek. There is what it looks like. I even have the, so this is a whip, and I even, even though I said it, there were no more whips, there's actually this one. So here's my mock-up. It is done on the Nina Bristol Vellum, and I like it well enough that I think I'm going to continue on with it. I will probably make a copy when I'm when I move on to an area I'm not comfortable with like the people I will probably go ahead and make a copy of I do that a lot where I will have this partially done and I'll make a copy and work from that that way I'm working within the context of what I've already colored I do highly recommend that if you uh, struggle with decision making it's sometimes easier to make if you are not staring at a blank page that you've already colored some in so that is the progress on that, but I did finish something. I did not count it as finished last week. This page is now completely finished. I finished the wisteria, ivy, whatever you want to call it, and the shadowing, and then I did the bricks. So I will have a photo of this finished version of this page at the end. Loved this page and I loved the pencils. The Brute Funer squares are definitely a favorite of mine. One of the love, I love them sets. So we will be coloring in this next week. Magical Worlds. I completed the pumpkin page and there it is. So this pumpkin page, I really enjoyed. Rather than have it be flat, I had decided that over here was going to be the light source, and so it altered the way I was going to do the shading, and I really enjoyed the adjusting of removing the shading that I had on the right side of all of the different elements, the stem, the chimney, the mushrooms and this whole pumpkin, even on this floral element, the right side has been lightened up. And how I did it was this with this wonderful kneaded eraser that you guys have seen. And the polychromos are fantastic with that eraser. I mean, I know that they're really good, but I mean, in this paper, in this particular environment, Having a pencil that can so easily be lightened is wonderful. I will say one thing though, I was as I was doing the adjusting at the end, I thought, wow, I wonder if these pencils on this coloring book paper need to be have a fixative added. So I am I do have fixative. I am contemplating 
spraying fixative on. The other possibility is contact paper covering the whole page. I know some people do that. I have seen that in videos. Uh, so I do think that if you're using polychromos based on how easy they were to manipulate after they were on the page, I would definitely think about preserving the page so that nothing affects the lay down of the pigments because they are very much easy to lift off. And I do have a plan for what we're going to do in this book next. So I've got all three books here. Those are the coloring projects, what I've worked on. Let's look at my master list. Uh, this is my set of pencils I have added. I have 30 sets of pencils and I think I am missing uh, a couple of sets here possibly. I know this Black Widow's 180. I don't know what that is. I have all these notes. I don't know what they are. So we were supposed to do in Small Victories which we didn't do this week, we were supposed to work on this boat. So this boat was going to be polychromos. However, we used the polychromos in the magical worlds. So I am going to use the Brute Fiener squares, which is kind of ironic because I just finished using them on the gardening shelves. I finished that page this morning. So we are going to do the boat page with the Brute Fiener squares. So that will be started this week. It may only take a couple of days. I have 32 sets of pencils. Because the book that I go through the set of pencils rather quickly is Small Victories and we didn't work on it last week, everything seems to have slowed to a crawl. So I doubt we will get past the Brute Fiener squares this week. I really love touching every single set of pencils. It's It's very pleasant for me, and I am now thoroughly enjoying coloring and coloring books. Romantic Country next week. We will continue on. I will, in fact, I have planned to continue tomorrow because I want to start the trees, the trunks of the trees. I may or may not, before tomorrow, get a little bit more of the greenery done, but I don't think the greenery is required for me to get started over here on the right with the trees. So we will see that tomorrow. I will probably only work in Romantic Country one day this week, but we will see if I end up making it two magical worlds. Uh, everyone knows the story if you've seen my videos. If not, these tabs were put in by my mom. The orange tab is the one tab I gave her, and she was supposed to give me one image to color. She could not decide, so next thing you know, she found her own pad of post-its, and she gave me five. We have completed two of them. So we are going to work on... We have three more left, so I'm going to do a poll. I won't even share we, which ones they are. I will go ahead and take quick photos of them, and we'll post a poll today for the page we will work on next here in Magical Worlds. We've decided what romantic country is going to be, and we have already got small victories, which we are going front to back in. So that concludes all of the coloring that I did. What it did not include is that I am working on swatching the neons and the metallics, which are two new sets. I am still working on a conversion chart that is 92% done. And then I do have the Holbein. I own 90 Holbeins, but I have not swatched all of them. So I have three sets that are in the coffers waiting to be swatched. And in the meantime, I'm also unpacking the pod and getting ready for the artisan market next weekend. Yesterday I had a garage sale, uh, which actually was very quiet, uh, but other exciting things happened yesterday that I will talk about next. So that is all I have for project work. I now want to talk about my YouTube channel. So as everybody knows, when I started in March, my channel was a couple of years old, just short of a couple of years old. I started it July of 2022 and I did post this already on my community tab. And I started it, I knew I wanted to do coloring. I already had another channel for card making. I didn't want to commingle. In fact, I did commingle a little bit and thought, okay, now that I am not living in a trailer anymore, I'm living in a house, I can actually pursue coloring, which I have always loved to do. And I can pursue it 
uh, in a way that I can share it with other people. And I thought of two ways to do that. One, start a coloring group in my own community. And number two, doing a coloring channel. So I finally, it took a long time to figure out my own way of having that channel run. And it is the daily color where I color a little bit every day and I encourage everyone to color with me a little bit every day. If it's in my book that I'm coloring in or your own book, the idea is just to rest and relax a little bit every day, however that works for you. So that has been a lot of fun and that started the end of March. So my average subscriber, they do vary, but on average, I'm more like 18 to 20 a week. And slowly my viewership has increased so that my daily colors get views. They're creeping up to between 150 and 200 views in like the first couple of days. So that's pretty exciting from when I started. Oh, by the way, there will be a wonderful um, item here to view. It will be the, uh, the uh, chart. Uh, it is just not here right now. So hopefully there is a chart here that you're looking at. So you're looking at what I'm looking at. And you will see that my subscribers jumped tremendously all of a sudden to 200% in the previous seven days. And no, I did, I did nothing to make that happen. In fact, I had noticed a drop in my subscribers down to like 14 and 15 the previous couple of weeks. So I was more concerned that it was going to take longer to hit my goal than... So I had actually moved my goal out a month. I have a friend who was going to come in November. She was going to be here the 15th. And my goal was to have this done so that she and I could craft and make cards for three days, make our holiday cards. And I wouldn't have, you know, the, the not having the thousand subscribers, which was my big annual goal hanging over my head. And so all of a sudden last week I got 54 subscribers in a week, which is crazy. 200% more than the previous seven days. My views were 11% more at 2.5K and my watch time for the week was about the same 338 hours. So right now, so the exciting thing that happened is I woke up to like 991 subscribers in the morning. I had to get up really early to prep for a garage sale that was gonna be in my house. So that was nice. It was just right here, right out the door. So as the day progressed, I had the this real time view thingy up that is, it actually updates in real time without you having to hit the refresh button. So I had it on my phone and I watched it grow. And by late afternoon, boom, just out of the blue, I hit a thousand. So I took a screenshot of it. I was hoping that I would see it and that was pretty exciting that it didn't happen in the middle of the night. Because this morning, when I woke up, I had 1,005. Uh, but now, between early this morning and now, I'm down to 1,004. And then I'm pretty used to people coming and going because everybody is different. Maybe they don't uh, understand what my content structure is and they try it out and it doesn't work for them. So that works for me. My total views for the last 48 hours is looking really good, 776. And I have, the, um, I have this little bar chart that shows these blue lines and the least amount of views for any one hour is like five. So that's pretty cool. And then my last 48 hour top videos, of course, I, I always expect them to be the last three, but for some reason, this one daily color, episode 283, is doing pretty well at staying, uh, getting the views, hitting it. So perhaps somebody shared it somewhere because I am not used to seeing an, an older episode like that show up for the last 48 hours in the top three. So that is everything. And I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I hope that my format works. I, I encourage you all to leave comments. Tell me if there's anything you would like to see different. If, if I need to adjust anything, I'm just happy to have you all here and I expect to be a YouTube colorist for many years to come. So do all of those YouTube things, of course. Like, share, comment, consider subscribing. And I will see you all tomorrow for the daily color. We are gonna color one more day in Romantic Country and then we will go from there. See you there.